Um, I think what kind of caught me off guard was that, and, and maybe it's obvious, it, it hasn't changed. You know, I'm reading stories about guys from Denver that came over to Grand Junction to ride around and then jump back on the train to ride back, but they pedaled to get here. There have always been two bicycle shops on Main Street, always, always. And so I actually have a list in the back of the book of all the bike shops that ever existed in this town and their addresses. And so you can see um, when they moved from one place to another and some got bought out by others, things like that, and the addresses were kept the same. But there at least has always been two on Main Street. Um, which people don't know about, which is kind of interesting. I'm Chris Brown and I'm the owner of Brown Cycles Bike Shop. So this is the book, Bicycle Junction, that we just released, and um, it's doing really well. Um, it's, like I said, 120, 140 years of cycling in Grand Junction, Colorado. So I've been collecting bits and pieces of history of Grand Junction, and specifically downtown Grand Junction. People have been bringing me in uh, articles and stories and uh, newspaper clippings and artifacts. I've been collecting those for 20 years, and I put them all in a box. And then one day, I sorted them all out and decided that they could be organized by decade all the way back to the 1880s. And I had something representing every single decade that this town has been in existence. And if I could create a fictional character that could weave through those decades, he could re uh, retell those stories in a way that was interesting and sort of personal. We ended up writing this book called Bicycle Junction. Um, it's the history of Grand Junction is told through the spokes of a bicycle wheel. 1880 through 2015. Um, a lot of our street names and our, the founders of our buildings and businesses were cyclists at the turn of the century and on as well. So um, our founding fathers in Grand Junction, um, Henry Patterson was a bike mechanic, Patterson Road, Struthers Avenue, uh, Sheriff Struthers also won bike races in the late 1890s, uh, Sam McMullen, DA and Home Loan, guy that started that business, Home Loan's still around. Also won a, a bike race in the same race that um, Fred Manti was in, Manny Heights. You like read through these histories and you figure out who these people are and then whenever you drive around town you see their names, they keep coming at you. One of the first guys in town to even have a bicycle was named McFarland. And McFarland is a street right off First Street up by uh, Patterson Avenue. If somebody rides a bike in 1902 to Grand Junction from Denver, they're going to be on rocky, hikeable wagon trails that whole way. And to do it like in nine days or something in the middle of the summer is pretty amazing. But their stories are the same stories that I get, you know, my experience. When I go out and ride from here to Meeker and do a 100-mile day out in the middle of nowhere all by yourself in the hot sun uh, just to see if you can do it. And so uh, we have a common uh, thing, some common ground with those people. Um, and you, as you start to read those stories, you realize that, oh my gosh, this guy was just like me. He experienced and saw the same hills and slopes and where do I get water and who do I meet and what adventures did I have along the way. Having people come in and then tell you kind of what they're trying to achieve and then you like handing it to them, here it is. And then their mouths get op wide open and they get all bright on their face. They take it out for a ride and they're like, my God, that's amazing. This is exactly what I was looking for. That's really satisfying. Um, as a sales guy. And so if you can make that miracle happen over and over again all day long, now you're having an impact on your community and, and your customer base. And making people happy is fun. And, um, and if they'll pay you to do that, that's even better. Um, we do something here at the shop we call the next thing thing. So it's one thing to like tell some stories about the history of Grand Junction, Colorado. Um, combining that with cycling is nice and easy. Um, inventing a bike that's a time machine is kind of a fun little story thing. And then I woke up in the middle of the night and I was like, what if we built the time machine? And you're like, what do you mean? And you're like, no, like build it, like go build it and go ride it around town. And so that's the next thing thing. So the bike that's in this book is actually sitting in the front window and you can come down and take it for a ride. And it's terrifying and scary, but aren't all time machines like that? Right. It's almost like a thread that stretches throughout. Exactly. Yeah. So it's really cool. Uh, what do we call cycling? It's sort of the um, 
antiquated conveyances of the past, but yet we're, here we are still riding them. The um, story of the shoemaker and the elves when I was a little kid always fascinated me, and I don't know why. But this idea of being in a village downtown with a shingle out front and, and being inside cobbling and you know, putting this stuff together and then the customers come in during the daytime, that always spoke to me. And so when you wake up 20 or 30 years later and you realize, oh my gosh, I have a shingle hanging out, which is my sign, in my village, which is downtown Grand Junction, and I'm in here doing my wares and doing my work, and then people are coming and going of the townsfolk you know that's that's what it is and so that's what downtown grand junction is